the EMI BTR2 a machine I'm quite fond of these machines are accredited with many recordings most famously the Beatles and of course anybody who has one of these machines believe that the machine came from Abbey Road Studio I always dismissed these claims but recently I came across some interesting information these machines come in different varieties and interestingly enough some of the pictures on the internet regarding these machines of modern pictures show that the machines in the modern archives are not the ones in Abbey Road Studios but for example there's a couple of pictures on the internet of this particular machine uh, with a black face PPM which says non BBC standard well these machines were never used as far as I can work out in Abbey Road Studios one of the main reasons is, is that these are modified machines factory modified for example a rotary power switch rather than the ones we see in the pictures with the toggle switch the reason why these were modified is these particular BTR2s have two phase mains, one for the tape deck and one for the electronics where the standardised one doesn't so possibly this one is one that was used in Abbey Road Studios now this has a VU meter the ones in Abbey Road Studios have PPM meters not black faced ones but white faced ones so okay maybe it's this one this one fits the bill it's got toggle switches it's got a white face PPM one of the other things possibly I can't really tell from the photographs is these are these are screws these are chromed screws the ones that I can see from Abbey Road Studios are raised possibly different ones where you can actually grab hold of them similar to these but possibly not those styles there's not a clear enough picture of those one of the things you see in Abbey Road Studios, which this machine used to have, is here there are three screw holes. And there used to be a cutout here until I changed this top tape deck. And that was for uh, arms which used to help the tape, which was on pancakes, stop it from spilling over. So for example, here's a machine where it's got pancakes. Um, this Agfa tape is very good, it spools lovely, but the older EMI tape was rather, um, um, it didn't spool very nice at all and it would come off regularly. All these machines don't really fit the bill. The pictures of the PTR2s don't uh, marry up with any of these four machines, or five. But I mean, it's a bit obvious this one, this one's portable, transportable. So the pictures that are floating around of modern day uh, machines as in the BTR2s in Abbey Road Studios don't fit the bill really either. Interestingly enough recently I purchased two more. The guy selling them to me claimed that they came from Abbey Road Studios of course I didn't believe him and it wasn't until I got them back that I started to ask myself some questions. So these machines have been modified They've had the recorder uh, control removed. They've had the spooling control changed for a tiny little knob. They've had the um, A and B test and level meter selector changed for different switches. For whatever reason, don't know. Haven't got that far yet. But when looking at this machine, it wasn't because I was looking at this and thinking this fits the criteria. No, it was something inside which made me think. This is a standard machine, if I turn them on. We notice underneath here, we've got the six hefty duty valve units. But this one's the most interesting one in this case. This one's the replay amplifier. Has large octo octal valves, adjustments on the front. This is the replay amp from the two machines I bought recently. They don't have the large octal valves, not like the other units. They have small valves. Not only that, 
these units have a serial number. They also have a different name. The replay amplifier type red 18. On the back we have a stamp which is not on any of the other machines. So are these Abbey Road Studios tape recorders? It's difficult to say. It is true that they have EMI only parts, as in their studios only parts. It's true to say that they have amplifiers not seen in any standard machine. It's also to say that they have the toggle switches rather than the rotary switches.